Shoddy, she a freak, 10 10 freak. She don't want to speak, she want me to the beat. I'm the voice of the street, that's a freak in the sheet. She want me for her tea, I got me for your meat. I am mad. Shoddy, she not bad, man. I don't get it back yeah i feel like i feel sorry for ross because like it's hard to put up those kind of boundaries when your job is so demanding yeah 100%. like i think rest is very 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 important like i'm having that kind of balance because you will go crazy like yeah. i love how i can be like i can just shut my laptop and that's me done whereas in obviously there is like the podcast so i had to turn on my work mind for this however after this i'm back to my i get to just on cruise mode she yeah. get me which is i feel like i've been an autopilot for months yeah because mm -hmm. it's like i'm finishing work i went to the dentist i came back i logged back into work then i logged back into the podcast mm -hmm. yeah so it's like i never have time anymore and mm -hmm. it's like one has got to go so yeah. if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed <laughs> subscribe <laughs> Please subscribe for my mental begging. health. And we're begging. Subscribe for my mental health. Let's get the intro in because <laughs> yes. we're gonna be here forever. <laughs> so welcome back to GTG, baby. You know the Your the weekly, weekly subscription, subscription to the gist. So please give us some gist. I'm tired of talking about my job. Right. Um, okay. This is not and like serious gist, but basically, I made jollof rice yesterday. Yeah. And also, you guys know my sister's a chef. Yeah. Oh. So <laughs> right. <laughs> She's a so, good chef too. <laughs> and she, you know, you guys know about Mags. Chef guys, Mags. Oh, oh my 10 God. 10 out of 10 stuff there. Yeah. So obviously, I had her taste my rice. She tasted it. And she was like, this is not jollof rice. This is spicy tomato rice. Uh, uh, this is spicy tomato rice. <laughs> she said, this is spicy tomato rice. But obviously, after she, she said, like, after she sat down with her, okay, she was like, oh, this is jollof rice. But that was her initial reaction. I just thought that was so funny. Because, like, cooking in the, I don't really cook in the house too much anymore. Because obviously, there's, like, two to three chefs at the house and I, I just don't need to do it. So obviously, because my parents aren't around right now, I just have to take up the mantle as the firstborn to like just cook for the family. So obviously it was a lot, it's a lot of pressure now knowing that there's <laughs> two people who are better. I can help openly say my 14 year old sister and Chef Mags are better cooks than me and they will teach me all I need to know before I go into my marital home. Right now I'm not in my marital home, I'm in my father's <laughs> house. So therefore I can cook the way I want and not cook if I don't want to. But yeah, <laughs> then, real gist. Like, do you know what? Go you. Go you. Right, sis? Go you. Right, sis? You know, I hear it. My sister can cook as well. And mm -hmm. she had this thing where it's like, I would always cook and give food out to people. And mm -hmm. she she's get mad annoyed that like yeah. I would never give her food. And I'm mm -hmm. like, why am I cooking for a chef? Right? Yeah. <laughs> like, no, I, so you could come criticize my food? You know, she, t she tasted the food and she still ate it. Like, and she enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, that's what she plate. said. She was yeah. like, oh, I don't want to eat my food all the time, so mm -hmm. I always give it. But I was like, no, you just, I have that pit in my stomach mm -hmm. that, like, you're going to come back and tell yeah, me something. Yeah, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I have it's food, too much pressure. Food anxiety, like, chef yeah. anxiety is real. I hate Okay, you know what? Since yeah. we're on the topic of food, right, I saw this thing online, and it was basically, like, I don't know what African culture it is. Mm -hmm. I'll Google it and find it, and I'll edit into this video. I'll put it in the description box if you don't get that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just in case I can't edit it, we might put it in the description box. <laughs> but basically, right, part of their wedding day ceremony, the bride has to cook That's too for the enough. groom's family to show that she can cook. Like on the wedding day? On the wedding day. That's like I've seen, I've seen two scenarios where there was one woman in full white and she's there like pounding yam. That's too much and there's bro. another one that was like cooking like stew and stuff and mm. like African attire. Like it was, mm. it was a big ball gown. You know, so it's like on the wedding day, you have to cook for your husband's family to prove that you can do your wife duties I'd for cry. their son i'd actually cry i was and gonna ask too much pressure i was gonna say if you had to do that what meal you cook it <laughs> uh, pasta <laughs> but like i won't give them pastas because you never feel the baddest pasta i'm joking my husband's family's not baddest but what i was gonna say is this like it doesn't come on the wedding day like for every culture but there's gonna be a day where your husband's family is gonna be in the house yeah and you have to whip it up yeah so what are you whipping depends depending on his family i think it'll be a like a jollof rice Effort, gives dodo. Um, but you know how to do all those things. Yes. You could cook all that. I can cook all it. You can cook effort. Yes, I can cook effort. YouTube help. Girl! <laughs> YouTube will help. But like, I'm not afraid to cook those. Effort is yeah. actually quite easy out of like goosey. I, I know, actually, I, I think effort is the hardest. Really? It's not. Yeah, because you know, the reason why I think it's the hardest is because it's got the most work to do with chopping up the spinach. The other stuff is way easier. Nah, but my but my family did it all the time, so I watched them. So like, it's not chopping up the spinach. Nah. Girl, that's long. No, of course soup doesn't take that long. Ego see soup doesn't take that long because uh, you're not chopping nothing. You're blending. But to be honest, F the effort's for me. But at the same time, that's that's not even a problem for me. 
That's not even because really? the day is already a lot oh, already. God, guys, I haven't made F4 in years. I'm Spinach. so waiting to try answer this question, girls. <laughs> but, I'm actually I'm, but, like my that, I think I'm also shaking I think it in depends. my boots. Sorry, baby, I didn't let you land. No, no, but, like, don't worry. don't worry, I'll give you some time. Yeah, yeah, don't go. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Like, I, I think also, let's say if my husband told me, oh, my mom actually likes this, I'll try and make it, like, let's say do practice and then make it for her and the, or the family mm-hmm. on the day. But isn't that like, I'm, I just know that day I have to chef. <laughs> that day I have to chef. But I'm ready for it, though. Like, mm-hmm. I'm mentally, like, I'm not afraid to hop in and really lock in and make the mm-hmm. dishes. What about you? What would you make? I have too many things Rose, that I could Rose, make. Rose, Rose, like, Rose, I'm yeah, yeah. What, I'd be like, what, what are you looking for? Right. I'm, but pr- pr- preferably, <laughs> I don't want to be chopping spinach all day. Like, babe, I'll make a four if you chop the spinach. Yeah, that's fine. Chopping spinach is not bad. You know, if, but if you're making a big pot mm-hmm. of a four, that's a lot of spinach. I don't know mm-hmm. if it's coming for trauma. I'm trying to think. Right? But like growing up, like my parents would buy the massive well, bags you know, of like, spinach from the you know, store. Can you not just put it in a, a, a zizzer? Yeah, or you can get the one in the shop, the frozen one. Yeah, but it's not, this, it's not the same as the fresh. Like, it doesn't bang like the fresh. Well, you, can, you can get a scissor, just put it all in, and it will chop it up. Mm. Like, you mm. can do that onion scissor. I think, I think you um, can. I don't yeah. know if it works for There's spinach, many ways around but, it, but however, you like, know what? I'm going to test that theory, right? Yeah. And I'm going to let y'all know. I'm going to test that theory. Well, because the if that cuts the time of oh. chopping. <laughs> no, well, when I make it for myself, I just use the frozen, frozen yeah. spinach. But it doesn't bang like fresh spit. Fresh mm. spinach. Nothing's better than fresh spinach. Spinach. No, like, spinach. I remember, like, I think I had to do it before. Like, it's not that bad. I had to remove all the leaves and everything. It wasn't yeah, that bad. like those big but, bags. But you know what? Yeah, I think because I grew up on that, it seems like nothing. I grew up on it. Maybe it's coming from trauma. For I example, hate it. I, I grew up in a family of eight. We will come to eight. you. Right, give, us, well, give me a couple Girls, minutes. Take your time. Okay. There was eight <laughs> of us in the house. I think, let's say, for example, the same way you feel about um, F or the same way I feel about Black Stew. But see, I've created a the hack. house down. I created a hack <laughs> from black. The house is going Wait, down. Is it from the bleach palm oil? Yeah, that part. So what you need to do is basically, I tend to bleach my oil the night before, so mm. just pour it in the pot. Leave the lid on it. Don't mm. take the lid off. Mm. So bleach it. Let's say put it on like medium heat for like 15, 20 minutes. Mm. Then turn it off and just leave it to cool naturally. Mm. Don't open the lid. Mm. You're not gonna get the smoke. You're not gonna get the whole explosion mm. situation. Because my mom did that one time and the pot was in the garden. Yeah, I that's said, a whoa. mistake people make. I said, whoa, this is not yeah. what I see. It's signed a, up for the science behind it is hot oil and mm. then you've got condensation, condensation of steam from the lid. Mm. So when you open it, you have the but, chances but, of but, water dropping. In but, and boom. But, but, so the pro- the mistake but, people always doing. make is to open the lid. Don't open it. Mm. Just don't do it. Okay. Yeah. Don't do it. Safe then. Ready, ready. Okay. Go on. Okay, guys. Uh, what would I cook? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I actually can't make jollof. Okay. So I can. So that's mm. that's it, right? Girl. That's so good. that's that's good. Yeah. Yeah. But then like maybe obviously like I'm Irish Ghanaian. Mm. Then my babes is Congolese. Mm-hmm. Jeremy. So I'd have to do a whole mix of mm. everything. Yeah. 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 So Fusion. I feel like I'd have to make. I haven't made it yet. Just to let you guys know. Mm. And I will make it one day. I'll show you guys. But mm. it's like Macaebo. It's like Ooh. is if my babes is listening to this right now, he's actually gonna laugh at the way I said that. <laughs> first of all, so I apologise to any Congos here, uh, but yeah, I'd have to make that, and then I'd make jollof, and mm-hmm. then I'd probably for my Irish dish, yeah. I'd make a cuddle. So cuddle, cuddle. Uh, girls, do you know about cuddle? Yes, you know we do. You know about need, need to shout out um, this TikToker that I absolutely love Les. Hilarious. She put up a recipe recently. The one that she made for her baby Cardinal. and she's congolese so i know she can season so i'm trusting her okay yeah well, but cuddle cuddle is banging it's just like basic vegetables and like a lot of pork meat and stuff yeah but it's actually the best thing for winter so i do that and then like you probably make cool cannon which is like i don't know it's like kale and potato mm. oh. like and then maybe for like my meat and make lamb or oxtail because mm. like oxtail mm. is like yeah i love i do you know what? i've actually not had a lot of oxtail in my life and i mm. absolutely love it but it's actually a big irish thing oxtail mm. really yeah, it is because like oxtail is one of those meats that would be one of the cheaper meats right so like and obviously, now, like, now it's expensive you know what? Yeah. i think it was in 2021 i realized oxtail is actually an ox tail yeah why did i think it was like babe do you know i had that <laughs> My, <laughs> babe, I'm looking at her. babe, I actually had that exact same like moment of realization. My be- well, like two of my besties, they're from South Africa mm-hmm. and Zambia, and they were like, they wanted to make like a, they wanted to just make food from their heritage or whatever, and mm-hmm. they were like, oh, we have chicken hearts, 
And I was like, I just didn't put two and two together that yeah. chicken hearts were actually you chicken hearts. You know, it's hearts. the way they say it. You guys deceived really? me. You guys say oxtail like it's like it's meat, like it's like a lamb or something. Like it's like a yeah. like a chicken breast. No, it's an ox's tail. But it's banging. It's banging. Those oxtail yeah. bell bones. It's banging. Oh my god! From sweet ones, insane. Yeah, insane. It's lit. It's lit. Like okay. I will always remember that. Those like oxtail always. bell bones. I'm going back to sweet ones. Right. Hundred percent. I want to. Br- Did oh, they sorry. deliver? I'm just. I'm just jumping. <laughs> oh, deliver to Ireland. I need to. Yeah, sweet one. We need a. We need to spin the block on that. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, just of the week, right? Mm-hmm. A pastor sells land in heaven oh, to their that. members. Uh, uh, uh. Eight, 80 pounds per... Can we not call him a pastor? Right. Because that's not a godly thing to do at all. First of all, for, for people who aren't Christians listening to this, right? Jesus already said in the Bible that he's gone to prepare a place. As in, there's no rent. There's no anything... God has, you said, it for, I'm going to go prepare a place. Mm. So if anybody's telling you, you need to pay for land in heaven, they're lying. <laughs> like, the, is it like 80 or just uh, per like square meter or? Yeah. So did these people think they're like, they were going to start building mansions in heaven? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. As if Jesus is, see, and that's why you should read your Bible. Because if you really read your Bible, you can't really allow anyone to swear you. Because Jesus literally said, I'm going to go and prepare. A, I'm going to go and prepare your mansion. Like you don't, you no, get me. Wait, so he was he was basically telling people mm-hmm. that once you die, mm-hmm. you need to buy yeah the space where your body is going to enter. Yeah, or is it that where you're going to live? Where you're going to live in heaven? Yeah. Oh Jesus, that's yeah. wild. You know how crazy that is. Well, I don't think. But I how don't many know people crazy. paid? Like that's right. what I want to know. That's crazier. Cause I think people how can you sit there? You go to no, church but every that's the, Sunday. But that's the dangerous thing about churches, like mm. not not about churches, about the dangerous thing about not picking the right church to right. go to, because there's actually a lot of mm. pastors like that in a lot of places mm-hmm. who will brainwash people into thinking the craziest things. Yeah, craziest things. People like I think it's I don't know what's crazy that he told people that he could they can they can do that or the people that actually bought it. Which is crazier? Oh. I think it's him because he's the one leading those people. Fair. Yeah. Like, imagine that's the kind of like church you grew up with, like your whole life. Mm. You wouldn't know. I would know. I like, would know because you read the Bible. You you can't like I just can't fathom with my brain. Maybe he he just really believes in his sauce. That's crazy. Like True you get me? Maybe he like maybe it's a him thing. Like he just like I don't think he should chat. Like I don't think what he's doing is right. But maybe he just really believes it. Yeah, that's but crazy. Even if you did, like you believe that, you mm. don't need to make profit from it. Right. But that's, um, that's proper mad. Yeah. I just find it really funny that the topics that we're like picking today, even though we all haven't spoken to each other about mm-hmm. it, we all have ones that are related because mm. i was like i was gonna bring up church my mm. church mm-hmm. so the expectation church so mm-hmm. expectation future are sending kids to like church camp oh yeah yeah so it's called i think it's called pulse if i'm correct i'm just gonna go into my was message just to make sure mm-hmm. pulse ireland yeah so basically at the moment they're trying to raise money to take 35 kids there for I think for a couple of days, for four or five days. And they're gonna go and be absolutely overcome in Christ. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description. If anyone is feeling generous, if God is touching your hearts to donate, to help out the kids, I feel like the world can be such a hard place. Mm -hmm. Especially, and we don't know what's going on with a lot of kids in their lives and at Mm -hmm. home. So if 35 kids are really willing to dedicate their lives and a couple of days of their summer, for this, I think it's an amazing cause. So mm-hmm. link will be in the description for how to donate to them. So I'll also pop it up on the screen on what you can do. So thanks, guys. Ooh, thank you. Another just of the week, the veto. No, it's not screaming. <laughs> that was Lord the best reaction. Of Zachariah. Right. Go I'm on. conflicted Go because... On. He's actually my favorite Afrobeat artist, but mm-hmm. I feel like Asha is like low key taking his place. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. Their wedding was crazy. Yeah, absolutely crazy. Tell us about it. Just us. Just use. Mm-hmm. So, 
David O just got married to Shioma, mm. which is baby mama. One, two, three, four. Four, I think. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I find it really weird that this wedding actually happened, considering there's been a meme of him on his knees begging for forgiveness from some girl, basically begging him not to post something or something like mm. that. And that just popped out this year. Mm. And also, the same week that um, he has his wedding, he's actually taking his first baby mama to court for <laughs> custody over his first kid. So apparently he hasn't seen his first kid in two years. Raw. And basically he was saying that um, the mom was just asking for too much money. Bear in mind, this guy's a multi-billionaire in Nigeria, mm. like insane money. Like his dad's a politician. And then with his music career, he's got an insane amount of money. Mm -hmm. So even if the baby mom is asking for certain things, he can most likely pay it off. He can afford all these baby mamas yeah, wildly it's not enough. A problem, like. It's not really a problem. Baby mama came out and said, no, the reason why she stopped talking to him two years ago was because basically they were dating two years ago. Mm. Uh -uh. <laughs> so she said that the reason why he stopped seeing his daughter is because she cut off access to the coochie. Oh, that she broke up with him in oh. July 2022. So they dated from 2014 to 2017. Goodness me. And that's when they had their first kid <sighs> after they broke up. Mm -mm -mm. And then they started dating back again in September 2020 to 2022. Now bear this in mind, the wife he married had a son. What year was it last year? In 2020. Um, so he. So the maths ain't nothing. Right. The math ain't math then. Is this just normal? <laughs> is this like... Is for this him, yes. Yeah, I say. Yeah. And like, for me, I find it so funny because it's like... I just don't know how she did it. Like, I don't know how she married him. Mm. Like, I don't know how she sleeps at night. Like, I feel like every single time, like, I've seen him with her... He's buying her expensive jewelry. He's buying her new cars. Like every single birthday, she gets like an insane car. Yesterday, yesterday for their wedding, mm. he got her this car. I've never seen the logo in my life. I don't but even know what it's called. It's above my tax bracket. <laughs> <laughs> but do you not think that's like that's what we've been taught? We talked about it on another part where mm. like some women are just happy to live this life. Mm. Do you get me? Yeah. She it genuinely... Be me though. She looks okay. She, she, she looks great. She yeah, looks like, good. I mean, like, she looks like she's okay. She looks good. She yeah. looks like good. she's okay with the situation. She looks like, so happy. But see, what? where it has me jarred is that, like, the like the biggest celebs of the celebs, the highest of the highest of mm. Nigeria were at this yesterday. Mm, yeah. Like, his whole family was there. Like, there were certain things where I thought was, like really really beautiful if he wasn't someone who had so many cheating allegations against him yeah. like there was a yeah. point in it where he was apparently crying Aww. and i'm like i look at it and i'm like that would be so sweet mm -hmm. if i didn't know that you literally were knocking your first baby mom while can, she had the first can I tell child you something funny somebody was telling me this week that like a man can really love a woman and still do all this stuff <laughs> I, 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 it actually is i don't know like but like, do you not think that just, they just some men just have it in them yeah, yeah, I feel like with him, it's going to be something she will forever have to endure because he has everything in this world. Mm. And like, like people, and I can see certain people have been commenting basically being like, because um, Chioma's first son died. He mm -hmm. passed away um, not last year, it was the year before. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which was that. 2022. Yeah, RIP. Um, so people were saying that, like, oh, daddy kept his promise to your mom, if any. He actually married her. So people are like, like that seems really, really, really sweet. Mm. And then she did go off and ha end up having twins literally one year later. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It was like, I think a week to the anniversary of his death of one year, she ended up coming out with twins. Mm. So out of all the baby mamas that he has, she's actually had the most ch children for him mm. as well. So people are kind of like saying that like, he's always said from day one, out of like all the ones he's ever dated, that has been the only one that he said he was going to marry and he actually did Dude. yeah like so do you think they're just trauma bonded then is that what you're saying they got married i think a month after their son actually died like they had a secret wedding so this mm -hmm. is why i'm like i'm seeing so many people 
idolize this wedding because it's like surrounded by money and all mm. the ladies designers and all the celebs yeah but when you take all of that away and you actually look at the storyline mm -hmm. of their love it's absolutely crazy mm -hmm. and just me as a woman i don't know if i would ever be able to forgive a man who's done that to me right like there's there's forgiveness mm -hmm. but you've publicly embarrassed me yeah. on multiple but occasions it's probably not like i don't know like maybe they do love each other but maybe it's a marriage based on um transaction rather than a marriage based on love maybe and i so. feel like that's what a lot of people do mm. like think about it now this is just the extreme one like mm. extreme case but there's a lot of people that sort of settle with someone because they feel like they both have the same interests they mm. can get through life together yeah. like a lot of people don't marry for love anymore mm. it's it's so scary yeah well there's like i saw this thing on tiktok i don't know i'm bringing my own gist for mm -hmm. the first time girls mm -hmm. where like th this man like there was a study done and people asked women would you rather date uh high above you like mm -hmm. someone that's like better looking than you that you think or yeah. would you rather date below um most women said i'd rather date below, below. below. and then most men said i'd rather date above so they'd like they both agreed yeah so basically m most women will date below what they think they deserve and most men will date above what they think they deserve and that's what they're like that's their like uh that's what they prefer that's their preference it's just mad how both genders agree to the same thing. Yeah. Like, usually you would have some sort of demarcation, but like, yeah. but like, this the same? What? 100%. Like, circling back. Hang on, to, I hear it. But circling back to like Davido and Chioma. Chi Chioma, it's more so does he want, <laughs> does he want to have, does he marry for love or he's not marrying for love? He's not marrying because he thinks she's better. He's marrying because he wants to. Do you know what I mean? And she's not marrying because she thinks he's below her. Like, it's mm. transaction. It's not, it's not transactional. Mm. Do you get Like, the thing that throws me off about them is that it's like, I don't know what he's getting from her. Because it's like, she, she's also a rich man's kid. Like, I think apparently they met, like, in uni or something like mm. that. So they met when they were young. So they do kind of have that whole, like, sweetheart love story going on. And that is fine, but it's like... I just don't know because it's like when you when you like listen to like some of his music you're hearing the names of some of these like side chicks in them but maybe like even the mm. wedding didn't even seem to me like it was about love mm. i felt like it was all about like money right. like he showed up if you saw the car that he was driving in mm -hmm. he stood up <laughs> this is really funny but he stood up in the like what's that thing you know where you're able to pull back the the sunroof the sunroof he mm. stood up out the sunroof and nearly fucking fell out of the car while Goodness it was moving me. but like he was like people were like hailing him on mm. the way to the wedding and like even when you kind of like got there like it was his music i was hearing constantly throughout mm. the whole day right like he was doing these promo. little things exactly it was more like promo mm. Mm. and like he was doing these little things that like in Igbo culture you're they basically the wife has like a cup of palm, palm wine mm -hmm. and she's supposed to go feed it to her husband and she was well, she looks for her husband on the ground mm. and when she finds her husband she gives it to him and he drinks it mm. he drinks it and he stands up and he's like beating beating his chest and he's like yeah and i, I think he's like, actually like that though That's but how it's like, like but i feel like i know he, he just loves so much attention and mm. it's like it's not really just about you today it's mm. also about her like i just felt like he was taking so much attention away from her yeah i was just like can you to not honest, chill like just knows, be calm she knows the man she married bro just gotta keep, she knows the man she married bro. but do you, do you think you can do it do you think you no. can get back with someone who is cheating on you and it publicly like embarrassed you like that publicly when it goes public that's when it's a bit tacky public embarrassment is a bit wild yeah for me public embarrassment is a bit because then my name is in someone's mouth like oh, she got back with him yeah. I just like call yeah. me, call me. I don't know. Call me whatever you call me. Okay. Whatever. But what if that just doesn't what if people don't know the if people don't not know publicly? Can you do it? Then I plead the fifth. <laughs> can you do Marie? I plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> right. Because I'm not gonna. Because it's like that's like a catch twenty two. Because if you say yes, then it's you're allowed. You're putting mm. it out into the world that you want someone to cheat on you, yeah. or you're gonna allow cheating. Mm, but if yeah. you say no, like not well, you can't say no, and that's yeah. your that's your preference. If you say you plead the fifth. Yeah, it's up in the air. Yeah, 
I was going to say, I was like, with my ex, I stayed four months extra after all of that shit happened. I wish I could be shook, but she told me this information. Yeah, already. like, <laughs> I stayed four months extra, but, like, yeah. in those four months, mm -hmm. I think it took me the courage. It, I built up the courage to leave in those four months. Yeah, 100%. Like, it was one of those things because it's, like, I feel like when a lot of these things happen, there's a lot of mental manipulation. Yeah. 100%. There's a lot True. of, like, blaming True. and, like... I remember when I caught right. him, the first thing he said was, mm -hmm. you did this. Mm. And trying to put the blame on me. Yeah. And it's Classic. like, then you sit there and you like take it in as like, as a victim mm. and all this stuff. And then you sit there and you're like, okay, maybe I'll try and make it work. Like if you've been in, also in the relationship for so many years, you sit there mm. as well and then you think, it's like, am I willing to let this go after go. how many years? Have yeah. I wasted this many years yeah. with these people? So like, I can understand why people, think why go, people go back. Yeah. But it takes like, a lot of work. Sorry, babe. No. Um, I think it takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of time like if you like i think this is a very weird aspect like mm. what i would think but i think most things in a relation relationship can be worked out but not that oh people do all these horrible things and then you don't talk about it i think yeah. there has to be a whole like you know the way we sh like our dna sheds every seven years mm -hmm. like it's one of those like you yeah. have to shed your whole old skin mm. and you have to be better mm. and with that takes a lot of accountability mm -hmm. uh, from yourself from your partner yeah and i don't think a lot of people are willing to do that mm. that's the part that breaks people it's mm. like people can do the hurting but they're not ready to fix up afterwards so, yeah you you ate with that you absolutely ate with that. And I feel like a lot with like African culture, it's like women are never really told to get up and leave. You're told mm. to fight through it. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, majority of the time, it's the women who are fighting through it, but the man isn't. Mm. Yeah. He just goes like, he expects a clean slate, but hasn't yeah. worked hard to earn right. the respect back or the forgiveness. I feel like, because obviously my um, ex cheated on me and I found out. However, when I was trying to get a, get a hold of him i was calling him calling him, you know what i mean just to see if this shit that i knew was true was really really true i need to hear it from his mouth you get me so obviously he wasn't answering my calls who's my second form of contact my girls so i felt like after i told my girls there was no going back whereas if i yeah. talked to him first he would have used his nigerian manipulative ways to kind of, to try and like swerve me back and whatever what even after i talked to my girls we did have a conversation like me and him did have a conversation after and I was like, yeah, but he still loves me, he still likes mm. me, whatever. But then what happened was, and that's why prayer is important, because I think a couple of days before I found out he cheated, I asked God, like, God, if this is your will, come. If it's not, blood clots, rose clots, cut it out of my life. So then obviously I was shivering. The, so after he gave me, like, he was telling me sweet nothings, whatever, I was considering getting back with him. I was shivering the stairs. And, and the Holy Spirit said, how do you expect people to respect you when you don't respect yourself? Mm. Why was the Holy Spirit shouting? It was mm. a it was a Tuesday afternoon. He was loud. Why did why did he need to shout at me? It was loud. Dude. So obviously after that, yeah, I just blocked him on everything. I just moved on everything, and he mm. even came back with his new car and his fresh cut trim. This is why it's scary. Like your ex is having your address. I think it's very scary. He came back thinking that oh, I'd be I'd be wooed by all these things. But I was just like, I'm in a, I'm in a totally different place now. Do you get me? But it's also, um, like, let's say, for example, if he, I feel, I feel like if he actually shown me that he was genuinely sorry and this was a genuine mistake, mm. yeah, I might have taken him back. Yeah. Mm. Because I feel like, let's say you cheat, right? Calm. Not that it was, it's okay to cheat or anything, but, like, if you show me that this was a genuine, true mistake and you don't plan on doing this ever again, then we could talk about it. Not that we get together. We can talk about it. 100%. I yeah. like that mindset, to be honest. Yeah. It, it just has to be genuine, to be frank. But guys, come on. I have some topics for you guys. Oh, my gosh. I'm okay, go for that it. was the best gist <laughs> of the season. I was going to go in deep dive into forgiveness. We can, we no, can go back there. Forgiveness is there. Let's go. About it. No, it's yeah. there. But let's, well, let's, Love it. let's have some banter. Yeah. Plus, before we <laughs> jump yeah. into we, we, we're Dry the tears, guys. So, like, Dry okay. the tears. So do you guys want the topics first or the year, year and A? Ooh. Yeah, you know. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, guys. That's yeah, actually yeah. what I said in my head. Yeah, <laughs> yeah your name. Blind dates. Who? Nay. Okay. Yuri. May. I'm gonna Yay. need to know what you look like. May. Have to. Let's say yeah. like. Oh, let's say. Let's say I trust Roz to set me up on a blind date because she knows exactly what I want. Yeah. 
Yeah. And I, you could trust me to set you up on a blind date because yeah. you know exactly what I, you know what I mean? Yeah. But like, obviously, if it's like. I can't trust none of my friends though, no. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you say nay? I think. You know, in your previous life when you were single. Yeah, you know? nay. <laughs> nay because. I don't know. No, maybe I'm a yay. To I'm be honest. open though. Open. I'm open. You just never know mm-hmm. what's around the corner, don't you? Yeah. But to be honest, the first dates people put, people put me on a blind date. Yeah, mm. we, saw how that, how that we, said, mm. we saw how that ended. So, so nay, yay, yay. Yeah. Right. Um, mm. Okay, cool. Yay or nay, going to sleep on the phone? Nay. I never got that. Demi. I never got that. Going to sleep on the phone. Why? What's uh, the point? I love you. <laughs> what? Let me have some sleep. Y'all know I'm not the hopeless romantic here. Like, I'm a hopeless Re- romantic, but Re- why are we calling so I can hear you snore? Or Re- you can hear me snore? That's- I don't know how you're gonna take this, but fuck your nap. <laughs> <laughs> no, because see, I'm a mad nap. Mad nap. I love that saying, but um, like it's just okay. No, because I be talking and then all of a sudden it's silent and like yeah, I'm hearing nothing. I'm no, like, this is. What- I don't know when you stopped. We are consensual, consenting adults that have agreed to go to bed on the phone together. Do you like your sleep, Demi? We sleep on the phone together. You see, the thing is where she can sleep don't, through anything. Oh, yeah, I can't. She can phone sleep. Phone. Why she no, she, she, she can sleep down. through anything. <laughs> Demi's the type that can actually take a nap for 10 minutes. Like, she can really, like, sleep on demand. But that's not the main point. Okay. So, okay. so if fine. she's on the phone talking to someone, like, if she's tired, she'll pass out. Whereas me, if I'm hearing noises, I can't sleep. If there's light on my phone, I can't sleep. Yeah. So it's like, um, it's not cute for me. I'm so, just an ugly sleeper, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> like I'm actually stretching like see this see this nasal thing it doesn't go away at night girls it doesn't go away at night <laughs> I feel like okay so cool you're talking to your babes or whatever and it's kind of like mm, obviously there's just no way you guys can sleep together on the same bed so I'm just like mm, um, can we sleep on the phone together please and they're like yeah and what we do is it's so simple like, we, we talk, we talk, and then I'd be like, okay, I'm getting sleepy now, or whatever. And he'd be like, okay, come, fall asleep. So I would fall asleep first, and he'd fall asleep. So when you wake and up, wake is, your, up. F- is your phone still on? Yes, six hours and 15 minutes. That's wild. <laughs> that, would actually, that would actually piss me off, because at the end of the day, if <laughs> I woke up in the middle of the night, I'm hanging up. I'm hanging up. You need to fix your phone. What did you say, babe? I'm hanging up. Hanging up, why? Like, if I fall asleep, you're asleep, and I wake up again, why am I staying there's on a, the phone? There's a connection. There's no connection. Re, do you love me or not? I love you, but I'm not doing that. Like, <laughs> I feel like it's so bad for you. Like, like, are you not like radiation? Phone? Radiation, exactly. I'm fine. active phone charger wasting the environment. My phone Say battery is baby. actually quite good, to be frank. I need to upgrade to a Pro Max. And I think see you what do need to go to the Pro Max. The Pro Max. Don't get me started. I, listen, need, I need a Pro Max. Max. Listen. The battery is clearly different. Anyways, Sorry. yay for sleeping on the phone together. Um, well, I don't like lights on my phone, please. It's not even nay, no. Anyways, <laughs> watchers <laughs> and listeners, please comment. The only noise I like <laughs> is um, soft noise. Like, you know, the white, white noise, the sound of rain and stuff. And I've even found the perfect ones on YouTube where, like, you can play it. So I have a projector in my room. You can play it and, like, the screen so is black. So you'd rather, sleep, oh, with, you'd rather sleep with YouTube and Elon Musk rather than no, someone that you no like. No, voices. It is literally <laughs> it's still, rain. It's still a gadget. It's rain. It's still a gadget. It's rain. It's rain. It's rain You're though. sleeping with rain. It's the sun rain. Get a life. <laughs> I was like, I heard Get out of it. You heard me in the beginning of this episode. No, I, think, this podcast I, think a, I think it's just a lover girl in me just to want to Yeah. Like, no, be, you are. You're such a lover girl. If Ross like, sleep on the phone. Like, I, listen, Ross will be sleeping on the phone. I keep it on. If my friends sleep on the phone, I let yeah, them sleep on I the think, phone. I, I think on. I'm just not a romantic. I think the men have killed the romantic in oh. me. Like, the way so, I'm but, romantic but, is, like, true, like, food. Like, I'll feed you. Like, when you're around, I'll take good care of you. Yeah. But it's, like, when you're far away. Damn. You're far I away. Well. But it's, like, as well, like, once you sleep, <laughs> once you sleep with your babes in bed, like, most nights. Oh, sorry, Ray. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, I was going to say, because if you're around, best believe, like, I'm a cuddler. Like, my legs yeah. will be so intertwined. Like, you can't Lock pee in the middle toes, of the night. bro. You Lock can't toes. Pee. I have crawled into your skin like I'm that close. Yeah, like, literally. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Okay, next one. That's fine. That's fine, because we think she's better. You guys think you're better than me, but it's calm. No. And it, <laughs> I'm joking, guys. It's all love. Um, last one. And I can't wait to ask the girls this. Yay or nay? Mm-hmm. Asking a man how much he earns during the dating stage. So I should have specified that. 
Nay. Nay. No, because I don't want him to know how much I earn. Right. Nay. It always gets me in trouble. <laughs> it does. True. Nah. I don't I don't I don't like that question. I am not comfortable with asking. But I feel like you can tell. You can tell when a man mm. is earning money. Really? Because yeah. even even if it's not in the way they dress, notice certain things. I think mm. when it comes to men, they have certain things they like. Right. It's either games. Mm. And if you know, if if a guy is a gamer, mm. check his gaming system. The TV, the console, right the chairs, yeah. the desk cost money. Right. If they're not gamers, maybe they're into watches. Mm. Check how much, because some, like, watches increase in value over the years. Mm -hmm. Check their watch connection. Right. If it's not watches, maybe they're into technology. Mm. Watch them have the iPhone, the iPad, the computers, yeah. the MacBook. Mm -hmm. If it's not that, they're into crap. Look at their assets. Mm. Check their shoes. Yeah. You will know. If it's not that, mm -hmm. check their car. Mm. Yeah. Men will always have a hobby that they're pouring money into of some but you, sorts nowadays cars you can't even cars, cars yeah what do you cars mean? are expensive cars like, are expensive but like petrol don't talk to me fair Actually enough can't. the maintenance of a car fair enough but like there's some people who use a car to hide the fact that they're not making yeah but much. like you can tell it's that rare, really, you but can like, tell I that really from. quick do you get mm, me yeah because it's like if you have a car and you're driving it to like the shop one day a week mm -hmm. <laughs> Then you're gonna know. Look, some you girls me? don't know. You see, that's the thing. That's why I'm just even trying to highlight that. Like, obviously, a guy can portray. Find lifestyle out where he different. lives. If he has that real nice car and he lives at home with mommy, second guess your your his bank account mm. because you don't know if he's paying rent in his mommy's house. Shit, but paying rent if he's mommy. paying rent, okay, his, though. no, but if he's paying house, rent okay. in his own house and mm -hmm. he has a car like that, he's gonna have to be yeah, yeah. significant that's, to be able that's to fine. But however, there's people who do. I'm just highlighting that there's people who do lifestyle. Who are perpetuating? Ooh. No, I completely agree. But <laughs> you, you need to look. You you catch the cracks somewhere. But I'm also highlighting that people don't catch these cracks. Ladies, check. Yeah, like check the mileage on his car. Know. If he's yeah. got that car, check to see how many miles is on it to see if he actually mm -hmm. drives that thing. Because like well, obviously no. there's like fake designer. There's like you know there's ways of loopholes and ways yeah. to give off this mm -hmm. life. How people thing. carry themselves. As well, I think people yeah. ca like people who have money. It doesn't it doesn't mean you have to have loads in the bank. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. people who have money and know how to use money, they mm -hmm. carry themselves in a way that yeah. people who want to flex online flex with their cars everything they will never mm -hmm. they won't hold themselves to that standard right mm -hmm. do you get me mm -hmm. it's like the same people that can flex online can be the same people that might like will ask you for change do you get me yeah and also you can also ask them what their jobs is mm -hmm. and then you can go into the likes of glassdoor or like linkedin and you can find out roughly how much someone earns for that position you're you, welcome you ate with that one but yeah how else like, well to be honest like i'm i'm just like i don't really like to know too much unless they tell me but as long as you can take care of yourself and yeah, yeah you carry yourself in a certain just way. Just financially That's smart. It. I'm a just need yeah. you to be financially smart. Don't be spending your money reckless. Traumatized. With, whoa, bro. <laughs> Bro, what happened? when you've dated a man that you earn more money than, it's chaos. Yeah. It's forever. It's competition. Yeah, now, I'm not saying all men are like that, but mm -hmm. it was competition for me. Yeah, Bro, I be, let's say if I came back and I spoke about like, because I used to work shift. And then like, if I did extra days, like I'd get like extra money. So like, and I was mm -hmm. paid on a weekly basis. Mm. So it'd be a thing where I, I'm like, oh my, I've been like, whoa, my salary this week was crazy. Yeah. And then I get a response back being like, why would you always talk about money? Mm, I was like, yeah. yo, I can't even be excited about what I'm writing. Right. Or when I bought the car and he bought mm -hmm. a car to match the following week and didn't know how to drive, that was the end of it for me. That one, that one's the cherry yeah. on the cake. Okay, just even um, pivot, but we're still on the same road. Mm -hmm. What questions do you ask when you're getting to know someone in the dating stage? Now, I ask this because this babe on TikTok called Maya Da Silva, shout out to her. She was the one like um, that said, um, she's... Okay, I don't remember what she said, but she made a viral TikTok sound. And she was like, when I'm dating someone, I need to know, like, the color of your pee. Like, why is it yellow? I need to know, you uh, know, uh, has uh. any of your family members been to jail? I uh, need uh, to uh. know, like, like just these important questions. Important. Yeah, like, why do you drink so much? Or, like, what, like, do you, like, how often do you drink? Do you do any drugs or whatever? Just, like, those important questions. Those last two are... The, the, those those last two are important the, the yellow pee one like to be honest with you you can ask that maybe like three months in or something when you're more comfy and you guys have those kind of I don't want to know what colour it is no 
but, but babe, can I say something? A man could be hiding something. She's from just you. saying like, how personal do you get with your questions? Oh I yeah, like, like a man how could be. So let's say for example, like, because obviously nowadays in dating, some men are very trickish and and sneakish yeah. and and you know mad, all of mad. So obviously, let's say for example, if a man is telling you, um, I'm a fitness guru and you know I only drink water. You now go to a hotel with him and his 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 he's he's orange is yellow, yellow like my wadi. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Why did you have to lie? You know what I mean? Just just that's a really, really crazy. He could be example, on antibiotics, but, but yeah. 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 But why are you on antibiotics? Like, you know, what's yeah. your health like? What's your family health is? What's your blood type as well? You know them kind of blood questions. Types, blood type is very, very important for yeah. us black folk. I was actually listening it's to insanely you. important because it's sickle cell. Yeah. Yeah. I was listening to you, what's her face? um guys no i have to sorry guys i actually have to find i was listening to her anyway she, was, she has a thing on youtube called voice notes of vengeance i need to find her sorry, grace Aguilary. grace Aguilary, because we always give credit to people on this part and stuff like that she was saying that like she had someone on her youtube and they the guy lied about his blood type Imagine lying about your blood type. That is such a sad Why you thing. Know, you lie about your blood imagine, type? He was just lying about his blood type to get with the babe. Now imagine if they had kids now, because she's also Wait, a carrier. So he was AS mm -hmm. and he knew he was AS. Yep. And it was a case where he wanted to date this babe seriously. Mm -hmm. And he lied he about it. He wanted his... to be serious. Yeah. <gasps> Can you that's imagine so lying bad. about your blood so, type? That's very Do you bad. know how crazy that is? That is so Lying about bad. your type. So that's why you, these questions... Or like you just you just need to know things like you know what I mean. That is that is that's like jump scare. <laughs> that's like attempted murder. I don't know why you'd want to wish that upon yourself. Right. Like that's like it just doesn't make any sense. It's selfish to a whole de different like, degree. At least let the babe know so she has a choice mm. in saying if this is what she wants to be a part of because if she has a sickle cell child she becomes a mother of that child mm. and then she becomes the mother of a child who's constantly in pain right like whose lifespan is also like thank god for like a lot of medicine nowadays mm -hmm. but the potential like they're Could they have the shorter. potential of their lifespan being shorter right yeah and that like, trauma you just and if you have more than one child her. as well, mm -hmm. like that's a whole yeah, family. It's that's a, a whole, whole bloodline. And even if, let's say, you have like another child that doesn't have it, the trauma that child even has to grow up with constantly having a sick sibling. Yeah, it's Crazy. different if he didn't know. Mm -hmm. But you knew. But you knew. You knew you carried a gene. That Absolutely. is jump He's scare. Crazy. That is Bro, that is are... jump scare. Mm. But yeah, like, so what questions would you guys ask that, like, you feel like it's not okay? What do you guys think? What what do you guys think? What questions do you guys think people need to ask more during the dating stage? What your intentions are? I think that's that question is like, always asked. Though. I don't think, but I don't know if it needs to be asked more. If it needs or to be heard, yeah. or it needs to be heard mm. better, because <laughs> like mm. the amount of times people mm. are asking, like they explain their intentions, mm -hmm. and then their intentions. Like they're being told a version mm. that's not true. True. And it's either you're not explaining it right mm. or I'm not hearing it. Mm. And it's like you got to figure out which side because it's yeah. it's too much. I think I think majority of the time it's women not hearing it because I think guys tell true. you. Yeah. I think it's a lot. Even I feel like I've been guilty mm. of it. Like I feel like guys will disguise it so it doesn't come across too yeah, much. Like if they still want to fuck around with you, like yeah. they'll say they're like, not gonna say it very directly. Mm. They yeah. will say it with style. So <laughs> men need to say it clearer. Mm. Women need yeah. to hear it louder. Yeah. Yeah, that's literally it. I feel like if you have any notion, another thing I stand for. Mm. If you even have to ask a guy what your intentions are with me. Yeah. Like unless it's like You're dead right. In the beginning. Mm -hmm. Like in the beginning, fair enough, you can ask. But mm -hmm. if it's been a couple of weeks, a couple of months, mm -hmm. if you have to ask, mm -hmm. you you already know your answer. But can I tell you something? There is none there. Let's say for example a guy is moving perfectly. Like his intentions are being made very clear in his actions. I will still ask him. Because I'm someone that I value, like, someone sticking to their word. No, but let's see, like, what I mean by is if you have to ask, it's because mm -hmm. he hasn't said. That's why you have to ask. Fair enough. Okay, fair enough. He hasn't asked, said. Yeah, if he hasn't said, if mm. you have to ask because he hasn't told you, mm. and it's been a couple of months, yeah. you should know your answer, girl. Right. Don't yeah. wait. Get up and walk because he has no intention mm -hmm. like he doesn't care if someone else is there yeah yeah because if they truly want you he's not going to want to share yeah he's yeah gonna wanna lock it down. Mm -hmm. i'm trying 100. to think about a question that like should be asked 
Um, One question that I got asked mm. was, okay, your last relationship ended, mm -hmm. and let's say the other person did you wrong, but what did you do? Mm. That's a good question. Yeah. yeah, like what did you do? Like what do question. you think you did wrong in the relationships that I caused that them question. to end? Mm. No, because I'm an angel. Right. <laughs> I hear it. I'd, I'd ask, are your parents together? Or what's your family dynamic like? Mm. But I'll some people's, their parents are together, but it doesn't mean it's a good relationship. Yeah, yeah, but like they explain, that's why they explain the dynamic. Yeah, I don't know. Like, is this I don't, I don't know if a guy, a if you're dating early enough, mm -hmm. would be that honest about the dynamic of his parents' relationships. He might tell you if they're together. But it's he might dating, not say but like you know. might not say like he might not turn around and say yeah my parents are in a toxic relationship that's no, extremely no like it's more so oh so like are your parents together yes or no what's your relationship with your mom and dad your relationship with your like what's you, your relationship with your family I feel yeah. like is a good question yeah 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 that's like, obviously fair like I'm obviously saying out to you guys blunt so obviously you know when you talk to a guy but you come to your girls and he's, this is what I was asking obviously. You'd be respectful in regards to approaching these kind of questions. You make sure, first of all, it's the right context. Like, you're not saying it out. Maybe you guys just had a disagreement or whatever. Like, you're saying it in the right context. And, no, and everyone's but see, in that context in now, I'm just I'm just even going to talk about it. But not everyone has a good relationship with their parents. Not because mm -hmm. it's the child's fault. Yeah. yeah. Some people have... Parents are narcissistic Yeah, sometimes. exactly. Mm -hmm. You could have narcissistic parents. So it's like, I don't think that's a fair one to judge someone's character because he's may not be ready to talk about everything that he's mm -hmm. experienced at that point yeah yeah to let you know a lot that of he's trauma not the one it. exactly mm -hmm. so i feel like that's that's a Does tough it? question to yeah. ask like, a tough it answer. is a tough question but we are grown i don't expect i don't be i won't be asking that question two weeks into knowing you it'll be a, at a point where like we're asking each other these like these things do you get me we're like we're comfortable but do you think those sort of things are asked when you're starting a relationship or when you're in the relationship, like yeah. your dating stage and when you're in a relationship. When you're in, when you're in a relationship, you, because you are with that person, more times than not, whatever they're going through, you will know what they're going through. Yeah. Let's say, for example, their mom is. Yeah, but that's a what I'm saying. Person. But you would have already been in the relationship at that point. That's However, not a question I do, you'd ask a dating. I do feel like, let's say, for example, like closer to dating, when it's getting a bit serious, I do feel like you should warn, let's say if you, the mom is, let's say she's a lot or something, I do feel like it's important to warn the girl you're with that my mom is like this these things might happen but don't worry this is yeah that would be at the stage where you're meeting them but i feel like you would have been in a serious. relationship before you'd meet their parents yeah no i feel like there's a couple of things you need to know before getting into a relationship with someone to know if you can actually handle it because yeah, some women can't handle a mom that's going to call them to the kitchen to cut 50 onions yeah but i don't that's think okay. like any exactly. guy is going to turn around and tell you that unless he's dating you like, that's what we're yeah. talking about like i think no but like i mean like in a relationship not yeah. like in the early the, dating okay. stages i think that is not just, early not early these kind of questions i don't think you can ask when do you guys think you can ask questions about family when you can ask uh, questions about family but i think those questions are just very deep personal about family, family matters yeah. i think because i'm like i can understand you asking what's your dynamic with like your family mm -hmm. like are you family oriented that might be like someone who gets on great with their siblings but mm -hmm. doesn't have a good relationship with their dad has mm -hmm. a great relationship with their mom yeah. mm -hmm. like he can tell you that but he may not turn around and be like yeah my dad's an absolute psycho yeah he's not gonna say that but i feel like but i, think, I feel like those sort of more in-depth stuff comes mm -hmm. in when you're in a relationship when there's that when trust there's actual yeah i think in a relationship that's when you're not dealing with it together mm, like you you won't probably deal with it until like you're meeting them yeah like, and even like that you could even meet the parents and the parents might be calm and it's not until a couple of years before the crazy kicks yeah. in. yeah yeah but i think it's just the because i think people are let into crazy situations without giving like without warning or without communicating it so now they're in a situation and you're 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 just well, bamboozled by everything that's going on whereas if you had the conversation beforehand you know like, okay cool he said this but then if you're really getting on with someone while they're dating while you're dating them mm -hmm. and their mom is a cycle like do you think that is something that you would cut off yeah, it's like a, a relationship with because like some some people are actually able mm -hmm. to like stay in these relationships but they have and some clear aren't. boundaries yeah and some aren't yeah, yeah. but it's like i'm so, not dating i'm not dating your family i'm dating you, you. so if your family acts a certain way mm -hmm. it's up to you you to mm -hmm. like yeah. your partner mm -hmm. to have your back in those situations they because they, sorry baby let me yeah, yeah no worries go no no, no, no they obviously like let's say for example your partner's a good partner and he patterns anything that does you know swell on to you however Regardless if you like it or not, 
because you are with this man, it's going to affect you in some way. Whether it's his mental health. Yeah, but week. then that becomes a you problem, not a him problem. Yeah. yeah, but that's a us problem. But I was able to mentally prepare myself because he told me to be there, to be the girl he needs me to be in that situation. I don't know. I, I, I don't I, know. Like, if you come from a family of trauma, mm-hmm. you're going to be able to deal with trauma. Mm. I think it's people that maybe haven't come from that trauma. It might be a bit yeah, harder. Yeah. And then also, I think it's also how much you care about the person. And mm-hmm. I'm speaking from somebody I know. Mm. Like, someone I know, they don't get on very well with the husband's side of the family. Right. He he literally cut off his family. And now him and his wife are chilling with their two kids. Yeah. Happily. Mm. He's Sometimes. happily married. Great job. She's mm-hmm. living a great life. Yes, it's sad that she doesn't have that side of the family there, mm-hmm. but his love for his wife strong was stronger enough. than the hate and the yeah. craziness that his mom had. Yeah. And yeah. he realized that wasn't a him problem, mm-hmm. wasn't his wife problem. And yeah. they're yeah. happy. But I do want you to let you guys know that I do agree with you guys' point. I think it's quite subjective. Let's say some, some people feel comfortable talking about this before, like, let's say, when you guys when dating is getting a bit serious and some people like to talk about it when they're in a relationship see when you ask, when i think of those questions mm-hmm. i ask i think about those questions being asked to me and it's like i probably wouldn't want to discuss mm. all of my family's dirty laundry with someone that i don't know i am in it for the long run mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. do you know what i mean so to ask somebody else mm-hmm. to get that question asked back i don't know if that's like but because it's like what about if you are only dating there's no like a hundred percent that you are going to end yeah. up together mm-hmm. for life yeah. so it's like why do i need to know stuff about your family why do you need to know stuff about my family unless we're a family unit mm. Even, I agree with I that. Get, I get where you're coming from. But let's say, for example, when you're dating, let's say, for example, intentional dating, because obviously we're giving out to the guys the other the other day because they want to date girls for one year. Do you get me? Whereas in like, they, they can, but that's because they want to see something long run. Because long run, end goal, marriage is the is the goal. So obviously, like, not to rush things or anything like that. Obviously, these things come with time and you have to be sensitive to everybody's situation. If I'm with, if I'm your boyfriend or yeah. let's say we're, we're about to become exclusive. Like I'm about to ask you to be my girlfriend or whatever. Like if I ask you, okay, so what's your family dynamic like? And you're like, okay, I'm not ready to talk about that. That's fine. Okay, yeah, fair. But soon, sooner or later though, we have to touch on it. 100%. Because at one day your problems are going to be my problems. Definitely. And your trauma is going to be my trauma. No, the conversation will definitely be had. I just mm. don't think it's things things that personal get brought up in the dating stage. Yeah. Because you also mm. need to realize, like, sometimes those things are very, very strong. Personal. And if you're mm. not in that place, as you said, of, like, a family unit, you're mm. probably chasing the person away because also what you're mm-hmm. telling you you also don't understand you don't know how much that person is able to withhold mm. you may think my family is absolutely crazy mm-hmm. and then that person actually be like yeah this is common not care like mm. people react to different, different things yeah. and different situations mm-hmm. something that might severely bother you might mm-hmm. not well, bother they're... that person yeah. and that person could end up even being your peace in sometimes the situation mm-hmm. but you would have scared them from telling them something mm-hmm. so crazy earlier on earlier on yeah. So it's like I do think picking obviously that's why I said you have to be sensitive and gauge the situation. Mm. Obviously some people are like let's say for example me, let's say me and we first time we met each other trauma dump. I can't just do that with just anyone. So no. You when you're dating someone you kind of like f- figure out okay cool there's someone that can handle this much depth. Then okay they can't handle this much depth or whatever or they're going through something right now so this is not the right time to talk about this. But like I think it's all it goes all bogs down to communication. 100%. And communication style and when you're able to like developing communication and making sure that's a strong foundation so even if he does tell me his mom is crazy two years into the relationship he's able to communicate that in a way that's like okay cool this is what this is i'll be able to handle it and i've got your back yeah Mm. that's it like i don't everybody can be crazy but if you're on my side and on my team i don't care we'll deal with it together Mm -hmm. yeah yeah love that literally um cool next one okay cool um cool i think women There'll be less conflict between women if they didn't see each other's competition. 100%. If a lot of women took time to love themselves, took the, took time to like actually be in competition with themselves, you wouldn't see me as a threat if you were sharing yourself. Because this woman was saying it, like obviously... And obviously <laughs> that's why like people... I think a lot of women hate confident women because those women are not where they want to be. Confident women are invincible. Right, do you get me? Their hearts so be broken. It's kind of like, and it's so sad because confident women or women who are sure in themselves and in, are in competition with themselves, they, how they are is offending people. 
but it's only offending people because you're threatened by my confidence. But we can all be confident. Do you get me? That's why I feel like cat fights when like women, you know, I one thing I actually hate is when women's like, oh, like her man is doing this with her, but he was with me last night. Ugh. Ugh. That's it. You actually say stuff like that. That's proud. Yeah, thinking you, thinking, thinking you won. Yeah, thinking any any woman who thinks her up one on another woman because it's of disgusting. a man is so dumb. That person, yeah. that woman is so insecure because what so made you dumb? What makes you think you're cool? Yeah. What makes you thought you? What makes you think you ate? And I'm not even directing anyone, but obviously if the shoe fits, wear it. But like, I think it's very important that like women actually do take their time to actually love themselves because it would really stop a lot of hate yeah. online in person like yeah the cat fights everything like it, it would be dead it yeah like, what's your what's your guys' opinion on that yeah 100 percent agree to be honest like mm -hmm. just stay in your own lane yeah like stay in your own lane mm -hmm. keep focus mm -hmm. like give as much love as you can as possible yeah you know what i mean like treat people the way you want to be treated yeah. Yeah. give the respect that you want oh baby say it loud like mm -hmm. that's all we need in this life and if you all if we all did that and we'd actually grow together yeah. mm. instead of being like, oh, you said this, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. first of all, why are we all getting, why are we getting into fights for? Why are, we why are you shouting in my fight? face? Can, but can we, can we be honest about it? Go on. When majority of the time when women are having these fights, it always has to do with men. A man. Slow down. It's a always man are laughing. They're kicking. rooted down They're laughing to at a man. Anyways, yeah, like, absolutely and, rooted down to a man. Like, it's and crazy. I think that's more so because they seek validation from men. Because if we didn't, if some women didn't seek validation from men, or that was the source, then they wouldn't be a lot of fights. Do you get me? Yeah. Because it's so sad that men are the ones who have like kind of taken control of the beauty beauty world and everything. Beauty standards. Beauty standards. So obviously, if the standards, if the beauty standards were actually created by women, then we we'd more so want to be impressed by other women. Cowboy boots. Mm -hmm. That's women. Right. I'm confused. <laughs> she said what? cowboy boots. <laughs> I think cowboy boots. Are you saying cowboy boots was made by a woman? Women, yeah. Mm. I'm confused. It's, you know, <laughs> so men created beauty standards, but women created cowboy boots. Yeah. Like we wear, we wear it as a fashion statement. <laughs> I'm still lost. I'm it's saying it's like, I don't know. I personally don't like cowboy boots. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the trend. So do you get me? Oh yeah, I don't like well, them either. I don't think men like cowboy boots. Maybe yeah. they do. Mm. Maybe but country, country women, men. Me, women, mm. like we made that beauty standard for ourselves. Right. And it's ugly. But uh, <laughs> that's, that's I feel, it's, but it's yeah, ugly. I just, yeah, it's so sad that like, yeah, mm, that's, I, yeah. I think any woman who seems to think you're above another woman because mm. of a man, there's a level of insecurity within you that is so yeah. broken. Like it's so heal yourself, deeply work needs on yourself. to be fixed. Mm -hmm. If you feel like you have to text a, any girl about a man, fix yourself. The insecurity mm. comes within yourself. The man was yeah. never for you and isn't yours. Yeah. Let them have it. If you feel like you have to bully another female because of a man, mm -hmm. that man was never yours. Mm -hmm. Keep moving. Yeah. Like just even even me, like the whole situation that I had to deal with, mm -hmm. absolutely bloody crazy over just, a man. Like I know, I know why the girl doesn't like me. And it's I was okay. About to say something. <laughs> yeah. Well, say it, say it. Um, Bri, I'll fill you in on this later off okay. camera. Like I personally about the situation, sorry guys, we can't really get into it because those people are involved. They feel like when we bring it up, they feel like they're up one. But it's not even adapting. No. I think there's a lot of things, a lot of lessons that be, can, can be learned. Don't see pride coming before the fall. You have to be careful what you say and what you think you know. Because the same person you're putting down because of a man is that my same man did cheat on you. But like you wouldn't know that or you don't want to find those questions or you don't want to look in and answer the real questions deep inside. But you're projecting on another woman because of what? At the end of the like day. Like it's crazy. It's like I don't think I've ever fought another girl for a man. I don't think I ever Like I it's not mm. something like Wait. I'll ever want to. For she tried me though. No, see the thing is, my if husband. That, if in, that's, and I want, it's that's not different. physical. That's different then because it's not you see, physical. there's a there's a legal binding contract there, and I think there's so much more mm -hmm. that comes to that. But I think, I, like as a boyfriend, mm. I would never fight another girl over a man. No, no. I feel like if I am to beef you, mm -hmm. and if I am to have a problem with you, I'm mm -hmm. beefing you because of disrespect on my name, right, and my character, right, or things that have been said about my name and character. Mm -hmm. Like that's where I even think a lot yeah. of where that situation that we're talking about mm -hmm.
came from. Yeah. I couldn't give a heck about the man who disrespected me, mm -hmm. the man who mentally manipulated me, mm -hmm. emotionally manipulated me. Mm -hmm. You can have that man. Was racist. Sorry. <laughs> Lol. Sorry. You can have that man. <laughs> but the one thing that I will not play with is mm. that someone tried to play with my mental health for years. Right. Like, cause it's like when you sit down and actually think of like a lot of the trauma that we've probably gone through with like dating a lot of men. Mm -hmm. Like, and this is why I wanted to sort of tap into forgiveness. Cause it was something that I sat down and thought yeah. like from the history of people that like you've dated, mm -hmm. can you think, do you think you can forgive them all? Cause even like as a Christian, mm -hmm. I know it says to turn the other cheek. I know God only gave me two cheeks, the two on my Ooh. face, the two on my eyes. And God, I have turned those cheeks multiple times. But it's like, how much can you endure from a person? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that that sounded I, wrong. I was. <laughs> guys, <laughs> me and Debbie, me and Debbie just looked up at each other. Can I tell you something? She said there's two cheeks. I said there's four. The way she said, what, turned them around, I said, yo. <laughs> <laughs> can we rescind that rescind that just take it from the top just change that right 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 right, right. <laughs> that skirt, was skirt, skirt, skirt. because i can turn some cheeks now i was so invested cheeks in that can speech be turned. as well i was just like You're oh wrong. my god you know turn cheeks. the other cheek we the ones on some, my face listen, not the ones on my ass listen i'm not even being <laughs> cheeks can be turned if you act according we talk about the bible right now just the cheeks on the face just the cheeks on the face I'm just, just, just kidding just kidding just but kidding. i feel like how much can you endure from a person because mm -hmm. it's like i feel like people have this misconception that especially i mean we're going to talk about me for a second here just because i talk about things to do with my ex people mm -hmm. think you're not over him right i promise you mm. on my life mm. i would never even want to lay eyes on him again not mm. to think about wanting him back right I don't. And it doesn't mean I'm not healed mm. either because baby, trust me, I am. There's, she, she's there's a better man in the vouch. picture now. 100%. You better. <laughs> but it's a case where it's like when you're with someone for so long and for yeah. so many years and you've gone through certain things, mm -hmm. I'm going to talk about it because I've it. gone through certain things. Yeah. So I don't know why people have this misconception that you can't talk about your past. Like mm. you can talk about your trauma mm. without your trauma still haunting you or right, hurting certain. you. Definitely. And it, you can also talk about these traumas without mm -hmm. throwing daggers at people. Right. Because like, as you said, honey, if the shoe fits, it, sh it fit. It wasn't right. directed at you. It's just yourself. people talking. Mm -hmm. So it's one of those things where it's like, I sat down recently and it was like, even to do with that ex, do I think that I have forgiven him? I don't wish bad on anybody. I don't wish. <laughs> That's not the question. I don't wish death on That's anybody. That's not the question. Yeah. But no, no, but it's like. Do you like, forgive him? No, I'm telling you, like, I'm going to read a couple of statements and stuff that like, I've, I've just Googled through. Do you forgive him? Personally, I feel like I have to forgive him as a Christian. You do have to. But did you get me? You have to. I have to. I, feel like, to I have to. I'm still not saying I have, but like. But do you forgiveness. Get me? You've forgiven him for God. I feel like forgiveness it doesn't have to be a two way street. You don't have to tell someone that you've forgiven them. You yeah. don't see, need I, to know. You've got to forgive within you know yourself. You know what? It's so funny. Yeah. The last conversation I had with this person, mm -hmm. right? He actually apologized to me for how he treated me right. over all the years. Mm. Right? And I was. It was forgiven mm. at that point. But then more stuff happened. Things on started popping up on social media. Mm -hmm. Indirect started being, not indirect, they made it very direct. Started being thrown at me. Mm. And then it was like, how can you forgive someone who hasn't fully earned your forgiveness? Like this, so what I'm saying is like, you said you were sorry mm. and I let it go. And then you kept on doing things, kept on poking the bear. That's when I kept on receiving messages. Mm. My friends started receiving messages. My friends started getting blocked mm. from certain things. And it's like, even though I don't wish bad mm. on them, I don't even wish anything on them. Mm. And it's like, I don't actually harbor any illness for them because mm. funny enough, I saw them recently. Mm. Like I walked into a shop and I saw a mm. person recently. I could have said something if I wanted to. Mm. But do you know who would have looked like a fool? Me, because yeah. I would have been embarrassing myself. Mm. I'm grown enough and healed enough to know what's the point. Yeah. I simply just kept it pushing, walked back, and I left. And you know, the funny thing is I spoke about it to my best friend today. Mm. And I was like, I saw this person. I said, that person's mad beautiful, you know. Mm. Still the words out of my mouth are still not hate. Mm. They're still not hatred. There's yeah. still none of those things. Yeah. But it's like deep within my deepest of hearts, mm -hmm. Can I actually say I've forgiven this person for mm -hmm. the stuff that they've done? 
but it's not about it's like it is it's forgiving their actions mm -hmm. of course but it's forgiving yourself that's what i'm saying forgiveness is a personal that. thing it's a personal thing it has nothing to do with them maybe mm -hmm. you don't condone their actions you yeah. don't condone how they've acted yeah. but forgiveness is for yourself so you can move on and you can let go of the situation and you can be better mm -hmm. it's not saying like oh i forgive you but you're not yeah. you're not good mm -hmm. That doesn't matter. See that. Yeah. I forgive you and I've let you go from my life. Mm -hmm. I wish you the best or I wish you nothing. Mm -hmm. And like, I'm forgiving you for myself. Yeah. And I think that's what a lot of people forget in this mm -hmm. world. They think that they have to forgive someone mm -hmm. for like, and let them know that they're forgiven yeah. or they like, you have to show that they're forgiven. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Like you might not like what they did. You mm -hmm. might not accept what they did, yeah. but you have to forgive it so you can move on. Yeah. You can heal. And that's what you have done. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, even though you might talk about it on the pod or whatever, mm -hmm. it's talking to explain situations it's talking mm -hmm. about your own personal life traumas yeah. it's not talking to put hate on anyone or mm -hmm. do bad for anyone i wish them all the best yeah. i hope you are healthy i hope you are happy i even hope that he's a better person for you than he was for me because mm -hmm. i wouldn't want another person to go through the stuff that i went through because mm -hmm. you see the thing is right i've talked about the funny stuff mm -hmm. that happened in that relationship i haven't spoken about like the little things like when i was in hospital with my burns my boyfriend didn't come and see me i was in hospital for two weeks until i asked mm -hmm. for him to come and see me his excuse was oh you were complaining about so many people come to see you so i thought you wouldn't want me to visit mm -hmm. i haven't spoken about the first time the first valentine's day i had with him i was crying in a restaurant with my best friend because my boyfriend didn't even call me till like 10 p.m. on Valentine's Day. There's like so many things that you couldn't that make somebody I could look bad for. Have brought up that would mm. have made him sound like an absolute horrible person. But mm. I've only spoken about the ones that I thought were com comedic yeah. that we could laugh about. And it's like, bro, forgiveness is hard. I think go it on. is. I think forgiveness, right? Because as you're talking, and obviously as what we said, I wanted to piggyback. Forgiveness, right? I think it's more so, let's say, if someone does me wrong, it's not, is it really about forgiving them or forgiving yourself for allowing them? Swear down. So basically, because you're not forgiving them, you're passing off blame. So they're the reason why you can't forgive yourself. So you're kind of like hiding in, hiding behind their bad actions. Whereas, and let's say, forgiveness is not just for them, it's for you inside. It's like, for example, you know, when they say, if you don't forgive, you're the one like, harboring so you're the one that actually like gets most of the heat do you know what i'm mm. saying like you're the one that gets most of the burden when you don't just let things go because like you're you're blaming them and because you're blaming them you're not giving time to actually literally forgive yourself for the time you spent with this person that you gave to this person yeah because yeah, like me and you spoke about this yesterday and there was something that debbie said that really like slapped on the head she was like she doesn't think it's a case that i haven't forgiven them she thinks that i haven't forgiven myself for staying in it for so long and that's gonna take time i remember when I did break up with this person, I remember a family member of mine actually said it where she was like, the thing that hurts me the most is that you wasted so many stupid years on this person. Like imagine freshly mm -hmm. breaking up with someone and the next thing you that hear person is- person has no emotional intelligence. Very little. But it's like, it's a thing where it's like, you've just broken up with someone that you were with for like, what, six, seven years. And the next thing you're hearing is that I can't believe you were there for so long. I can't go back and take back all those years. Mm. I think, oh, no, I think it was more so off the lines that they were like, you wasted all your young years on him. Yeah. Yeah. That was, that. I think that was what the statement was. And then in me, I'm thinking, fuck, I'm 27. I've literally spent from 21 to 27 yeah. with this person. It, and now I have to start afresh. It hurts me when she says, it hurts me when she's doing So it's like, I just it shouldn't hurt you though, because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. all the things that have happened in this life mm -hmm. has led you to here. Mm -hmm. Do you get me? Like it does it, like it doesn't matter what way it, like as horrible as it is and mm -hmm. like and obviously that's the stuff that you're gonna have to go through and deal with within yourself and stuff. Mm -hmm. But it all led you to this point. Like yeah. sitting on this couch talking about everything. All I know is ever since I've done these had, be. I've been making money. Yeah. You know, the same person used to complain about she, she, money. I've been making that's money. That's why I did say I was like, you know what, you did spend all those years, which like every time I hear it, it like it does it does hurt. It sh it shocks me. God knows how it shocked you back in the past. We're not there anymore. But like the person, let's say for example, if you like, God knows where you could have been 
You know what I mean? I could have never met you. Because I won't lie, the first time me and Roz met, what were we talking about? Trauma dumping. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But see, I literally met her as it happened. I yeah. met you when it happened. So mm-hmm. she met me fresh. Yeah. Like, I think maybe like a week or two into mm-hmm. like all of this. Yeah. But it's like, it's just even crazy because it's like, I even sat there and I thought of Mr. Munch recently. Yeah. And it's like, I don't even, I have no hate for Mr. Munch in my heart. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I miss him mm-hmm. because there was such a friendship there. Mm-hmm. And I feel like there was no betrayal with mm-hmm. him in the sense that like, Things just fizzled out. Yeah. Stop talking. Mm. So if I was to bump into this person tomorrow, it'd be yeah. a case where it's like, oh, hey, I hope you're doing well. Yeah. Like, you happy? There's yeah, no happy. anger towards it. Like, mm. there's no anger. Yeah, things didn't work out, but, like, I don't have any hatred or anything I there. Towards, yeah. But when it's, like, the ex prior to that, mm-hmm. it's one of those things where it's, like, I know I'm at the stage where, like, I wouldn't do anything and I mm-hmm. most likely wouldn't say anything. I would just have, I'd just walk away. Keep like, it'd there. literally be like, you never existed to me. Yeah. It'd be you one of to. those things. And it's like, because to me, it was betrayal after the relationship where it was like, the things you said about my character, mm. the, the lies you would have lied about me. When, I, like, this, this is one of the craziest things. I haven't told many people I did this for this person one time. I remember they were still in college. And I was working at this point. They weren't working in college. They didn't have that much money. And basically living off noodles. I used to have to take two buses to go see my ex. I remember going to his house. And before I left, I came with food. So I cooked food. And then on top of it, I did food shopping as well. Like, I've actually fed you. Yeah. I've been there at your lowest of your lows. And that's like... It's very honourable. And then to see, like, when people when speak, people speak lies on your name, let them. Like, honestly, you got to... When people speak bad about your character, mm-hmm. let them. We're yeah. in a world of, like, you can't... Like, if that's how you feel about me, mm-hmm. that's fine. But we we both know the truth. That we story, know the, yeah. we know the truth. You we say what truth. you need to say. You Whatever helps you sleep at night, mm-hmm. let them. Yeah, that's the truth. Yeah, that's what's helping him sleep at night. Read your quotes. I don't know. I have yeah. another question. So I was going to say, I have I have two quotes. One is from the Bible, and this is another one that I mm-hmm. just read. So this one says, let's start with what forgiveness is not. Much of the self-help world has suggested that forgiveness does not mean you become best friends with the person who wronged you. Mm-hmm. Forgiveness is not saying what happened was okay. Forgiveness is not saying you accept the person who wronged you. Instead, forgi- Instead, forgiveness is choosing to accept what happened as it happened rather than what could or should have happened. Forgiveness can mean that you let go. Forgiveness can mean you love from a distance. Forgiveness can mean you step into your present rather than anchoring in the past. Yeah. So that's one. And mm-hmm. then the one for the Bible. Let me just get that bad boy out. Yeah. Romans twelve nineteen. I think this is my new b- favorite Bible verse. Yeah. Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath. Yeah. For it is written, it is mine to avenge and I will repay, says the Lord. Yo. Sure. Amen. Let the Lord deal with their drama. That's what you got to do. Yeah. Um, so yeah, even just take a break. Mm, okay, cool. I wanted to ask you guys. Oh, go for it. Here's me bringing up the dating questions. You know, you already know the vibes. Um, how, when do you feel like you can spend on your man? I feel like if you want to do something, do it. Right. I don't think there should be like a law for. Yeah. You said your man, as in a relationship, right? Not dating. Sorry, a man. Sorry, a man. Hey! <laughs> oh, you see how my tune just changed so so <laughs> quickly. Okay, so the context again is like dating. You know, newly dating, mid dating, exclusive dating. Do you're not his, you're not in a relationship with him because everyone knows. Not a relationship. Ooh. You're not in a it's relationship. Limited. With him. Relationship unlimited. Yeah. So what did you say? Hey! He said, not relationship, limited. <laughs> relationship, unlimited. <laughs> That's it. I like that answer. <laughs> but, Ross, <laughs> me? Are we asking me? <laughs> Spend on a man. <laughs> a. Are you saying that? Not now? the man. Yeah. yeah. Not my man, but a Y chromosome. Yeah. Bro. Um, mm. Look, if you're a generous person. Right. Go for it, babe. You. What? I'm generous with my friends. I'm generous with my friends and my loved ones. What about a me, man? M- you're saying the <laughs> what? <laughs> what about a man? Me? A man. Is this date one, day two, day three? 
is you you guys are dating. So it's been a couple of weeks. Yeah. I'm not buying you anything expensive. Okay. Like, what? Because that will pain me. That will pain Bro, me. And then you break up a few weeks later. That will that's, pain me. That's disrespect on a whole new level. You know what it is? You know, I might buy you a Yankee cap. Like, that's 30 euro. And those are nice. Can I see the type of girl I am? What? Because Chucky actually explained it perfectly. But he didn't know that. Like, I didn't tell him anything before. So it was just kind of like, okay, cool. If you buy, if you pay for the trip, you fly me out, you pay for the accommodation, everything, get your ice cream. <laughs> you're a menace <laughs> you're a menace. menace no you gotta like so you gotta ugh, i don't know okay okay realistically thank you Iman. let's see let's see how much is he spending you every time i say Iman. yeah i just hope i would just be praying that your birthday's first Hundred percent. So then you can set the standard right you get me? yeah yeah hundred yeah. percent or valentine's day is first Yes, so you know, yeah. because then you know what, what you're going also, into. Also, where, where is he taking you? Okay, so like, realistically, if you say you've been dating this person for a little while, mm -hmm. like a little while, and they're taking you on like really some like really elaborate dates, mm -hmm. like let's say like zero latency, they've taken you to the IV, they've mm -hmm. taken you to a couple of bougie places. Yeah, they're taking I you. think a man like that deserves something Spoiling. to be spent on him. Yeah. An ice cream cone. More than an ice cream <laughs> cone. <then. laughs> okay, an ice cream cone. With the, the sprinkles and a flake. Oh, with the sprinkles and, and, and a little bit of sauce. And a little bit of sauce, only a little. <laughs> <laughs> only not a little. too much. What did, what did, hey, not too much now. No, yeah. but <laughs> yeah, no, I think I think they deserve a little something. The ladies don't go too yeah. crazy. It depends. Yeah, you gotta know. Literally, everything depends on how I'm feeling, but I will act accordingly. That's what I'm gonna say. That's good. I will 100% yeah, act, act accordingly, accordingly to, to how you're being treated. Yeah, because there's been times where I've actually spent money on men and like, See, Dude. I've done it, but like I've done it like in the form of like concert tickets. Mm. Like, let's say I wanted to go to a concert, so I bought like the concert because I wanted to go. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? That's my friend does this with her her partner. They go at uh, each of their birthdays. They pay for holidays, mm. and I think that is such a good idea yeah. Yeah. because you both get to go on holidays. So mm. you get to go on two holidays a year. Yeah, and it's like one. It's like. On that's, you. that's a really good idea. I really love good. that idea yeah. Yeah. because then you like because then but you're you both enjoying time. Like, it works for them because she probably has a planning man. Because mm, yeah. there's some men out there who don't want to plan, but they'll give you the funds. Right. Yeah. I don't mind a man like that. If you want to give me the funds, I'll do all the planning. No problem. Mm. For your birthday, I'm like, yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. <laughs> percent. No problem. Yeah. This hey, where do you want to go? Do you get? And I'll still pick where I want to go, but <laughs> yeah. I'll take into consideration where you want to go. <laughs> This leads on to the statement. Oh, did you have dilemma? I have a dilemma. Yeah, guys, we've been getting dilemmas in. We're getting dilemmas. This one dilemma. came a little while ago, oh. so sorry we missed it. Mm -hmm. But um, Damn, actually, we're losing. We're losing track of these now. We are. We are. <laughs> we are losing it. I've got two dilemmas, but we can do one or no, two do today. two. Two, okay. Yeah, if you don't mind. Sorry, I, was like, I, will. I want two. Maybe should have got a glass of water beforehand. No, nice. listen. Let let's me know go. if you want me to help No, no, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, so me and my ex-boyfriend were living uh, together for two years. We broke up last year in July. Our lease was over in March and we both decided to move into move into Miami while looking for a place. We both are staying at his mom's house and are looking for a one bedroom apartment. Me and my ex are still having sex. We always are playing around with each other and we are not toxic. My friends are confused. They're asking a lot of questions. Because as they said that they never see something like that. They've never seen something like this before. And it feels like they're watching a show with no ending. And they can't see why me and my ex are not together, but act like a couple and still and are still moving in together to try and get a one bedroom apartment. They said it's going to be hard to date other people because they're not going to believe that me and my ex are just friends. One of my friends said he will say that. Me and my ex are over when our new lease is done and we both get our own places. Loki, I want him back, even though I'm 80% sure there is no hope. What is going on? What is going on? So basically, she's in a lease with her ex that she's still in love with. So they were in a lease. The lease was over. Mm. They moved into the mum's house together. Yeah. And now they're looking to get another lease together with their exes. But like... But they're together. I have to say it, as a man, why are you following your ex to her mother's house? Yeah. Because let's say, for example, it's now... It's her, a her to his mom's house. To his mom's house? Yeah. Oh, sorry. As a woman, 
Because <laughs> we keep way. everyone, we keep everyone accountable here. Why are you moving into another man's house with his mother? When Present. you don't have the title, you don't have the title. She has a title for next. Does that count? That's the wrong title to be moving <laughs> into anywhere with. That's crazy. Because it's, it's like, is the cost of living? But you know, the cost of living though in Miami, the cost of living is crazy there. Yeah, it's actually crazy. I don't cost know. Cost of yeah. living, bro. You see me? I have. I well, it's have, never ever gonna be that deep. Sorry, let me. I again. have the independence girl syndrome. Yeah. Like I can't be late in a. What about your own shoe. mother? Yeah, like or your friend. Yeah. Mm. Like I'm sure your friends would much rather have you sleeping on in their the couch. Sofa. But she said, than as she in said, the same bed as him. Mm. As she said in her last, I want him back, even though I'm eighty percent sure there is no hope. So you know there's no hope. So, so just, she's doing this in the hopes of Rachel. This is what I'm saying, women. <laughs> listen louder. Listen louder. Oh, because God. he said he does not want this. And you gotta just remember that. You gotta listen. Oh, because it's, it's too much. Look. It's not a good look. I'm gonna speak with compassion because not, that's clearly yeah. She's holding on to something that she loves a lot. Apologies for shouting. Like, you deserve so much better you deserve to be with a man who wants to shout that you're his girl from the top mm -hmm. of his lungs you shouldn't ever have to be in a situation where you're feeling like you love someone more than they love you yeah and like you should love yourself a lot more than you currently do right now by putting yourself in a situation like that i just think that if like if you didn't if the last sentence <laughs> of i want like you want to get back together if you didn't write that then maybe it would have been like look you guys are still figuring it out yeah but you're going into this situation no knowing way. that you want to be in a relationship Oy vey. and if he doesn't want to be in a relationship find somebody who wants to be in a relationship with you mm -hmm. do you get me women need to start dating men that actually like them yeah. I also promise you, like, by doing this, you're probably blocking your own blessings. Mm -hmm. Like, I've seen so many women on TikTok who have turned around and been like, I was dating this person, I was dating that person, mm. but then I broke up and met the love of my life two weeks later, or mm. the love of my life yeah. three months later. You're blocking yourself from that love that you deserve yeah. by mm -hmm. staying with this person who doesn't deserve you. Mm. And the worst thing is that you're under his mom and his house. God forbid it, God forbid. something happens and you get home one day and they toss you out. Where are yeah, you going? Because so that one, can TV really one. happen. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And if it's meant to be, I'm such a big believer, if it's meant to be, it, it will be. be. Yeah. But have some time for yourself. Mm. Look at your own, like see what you can do for yourself. Put yourself in a position where you're just managing and being independent. It also sounds like you guys broke up and never got space apart to like yeah. learn and heal. Mm. Yeah like you guys have just been together like you haven't even given him the opportunity to miss you to see if he really does miss you 90 days also, give it 90 days no contact for 90 days yeah. and if you still feel the same girl i don't even think it should take 90 days if they've been around the, each other the whole time he should be missing you after a week you know, yeah. yeah but 90 days because you know the way the first couple of weeks you're sad like mm. you're just depressed and you're just trying to figure life out yeah. but after 90 days you've put yourself in a position where you actually can think clearly mm -hmm. like that bond isn't there anymore and if yeah. it's something that you want to go back to mm -hmm. after 90 days you'll know that and if you uh, after 90 days you should know if you don't want to be there or not yeah mm. i'll say this and you unless you're like nelly and ashanti and it takes 10 years <laughs> do you get me but it was meant to be too long though and another baby <laughs> in between do, yeah <laughs> i'll say this quickly before we move on to the next one always have a backup plan always always have safety a net one. always have one but yeah yeah good luck keep us updated please because i actually want to <laughs> know i really want to know yeah, yeah. Please. please that was if from the gmail mm -hmm. um so this one is from instagram mm -hmm. as well sorry i don't know why i'm baiting out the things but we forgot mm -hmm. this one this is the one we forgot so oh, apologies. Like, actually lose the track. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so um i'm having issues in my marriage my husband has been good and kind to me, but he is a very stubborn man. Ever since I left my pa my t my previous toxic relationship, there's this thing ringing in my head that no man should have the audacity to control me again, and it is affecting my marriage now. My brain is not set set up right since my past relationship. Despite many things this man has done, he he still he and he's acting normal. And we've been married for four years. Nothing has changed due to my mentality. Anything he's tried to talk to me or tell me what I'm doing is not good or remind me of the past, I just get angry and immediately it leads to a bigger fight between us. I don't know what to do. 
That's mm. trauma. Yeah. Therapy. Uh, I... <laughs> the way I read this. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's, that's, that's coming from trauma. It's yeah. coming from trauma. Therapy is a, a lot of therapy. trauma. Therapy is definitely the best thing. I know not everyone can afford therapy. Even couples, couples therapy. If you can afford couples but therapy. Even church might help you there. Talk to a pastor. Copy. Talk to Be someone. A cause trusted I know, pastor. Yeah. Cause trusted I know, church. Because I think, I, think I, yeah. I think I saw this and I think this person was from Nigeria. Mm. But um, I think in this case, You've been married to someone for four years that so you haven't been treating fair. Mm. 100%. And this person has still managed to stick around for four years trying to love you. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think you need to grant that man some grace. Mm. I did, yeah, you need to grant you that man to, grace. Yeah, don't, don't let your trauma block this blessing that you have in your life. Mm -hmm. Or let your past trauma stop you from the happiness that you currently have now and deserve. Of, yeah. Trust me, nobody understands more than me. Mm-hmm. Forgiveness, oh. forgive yourself. Forgiveness, like we talked yeah. about earlier. Mm. Like seriously. Yeah. Um, it's it's sad that it's mm -hmm. like it's affected you this much, mm -hmm. but you can see that you're clearly still a beautiful and lovable person to be able to have a man who is stuck with you for four years. That long, yeah. Don't don't ruin something good because you're still hurt from something in the past that you can't change. Mm. Yeah, I think you need to. I th I think what the first thing that you need to do is. For, like heal you need to mm. if that's your therapy that. if that's your pastor if that's mm -hmm. through any form but i think a, a guided he healing is needed for this situation yeah once you've healed Definitely. you need you need to speak with your partner as well mm -hmm. and see how you guys can work together work apologize to that man mm. Mm. and figure out but if he's like if he's been willing for this four years yeah he you should be able to let him in and therapy i think will help with that and yeah. will grow your I relationship think not just letting him in i think what we also need to do as human beings is just not think that people have to tolerate mm -hmm. certain behaviors saying sorry goes a very very long way and mm -hmm. the words i'm sorry can mm -hmm. really erase years mm -hmm. of pain definitely yeah. so the first thing she really needs to do is say sorry to her husband yeah and then practice up. and then after all that practice love if you're a christian the love that's in is it Second Corinthians thirteen? Love is patient. Love is kind. Practice yes. that. Make sure, like I think, yeah, I love that exercise. What I do is to keep myself accountable. I put my, I use the um, old King James version. Mm -hmm. I put my name wherever love is. So Demi is kind. Demi, just to make sure, am I practicing what I preach? Am I practicing love? And also, love you can that. put your partner's name in there as well. But that's not. It's not really in, like involved in the situation. Yeah, but just to practice that. love and. Exp you know, just express it. She goes, I'm not married, so I don't know the ins and outs of marriage or whatever, yeah. but like, I feel like practicing love, go back to the reason why you guys were to get, got together. What was the foundation of your marriage? So, yeah. And it's 1 Corinthians 13. I think, oh, 1 Corinthians 48. God bless you. Yes, you're welcome. Babe. I got the 13 right. Okay. You did. <laughs> you did. You did. But yeah, you thank you so there. much for actually like going back to that. Okay, guys, look quickly, because I know you have to read the stories. Yeah. <laughs> so I have, um, okay, so I want to let you guys pick. Complex conversation or a statement of the week? Statement of the week. Yeah. Statement of the week. Yeah, yeah. I'll bring up the complex one next week. But statement yeah. of the week, um, can you make love without being in love with them? With some, with them? <gasps> I brought this up because yeah, Chucky was talking about on HC Pod. I was like, hmm. Obviously, I've asked the man this, and they said they can. But women. I think you can. Rose, get out of here. I think you can. <laughs> Do you know what's so funny? I saw a TikTok this week where mm -hmm. it was a girl who actually said that after she had sex with someone, mm -hmm. she was like, I love you, but she didn't mean it. Oh. Like, she, she fully claimed mm -hmm. Like, she fully said her, na her name is actually um, Saving Grace Pod. Mm -hmm. Saving Grace, it was her. Grace. Yeah. Said yeah. It. I don't know. Like, I think making love without... Being in love with the person defeats the whole purpose. It's like a catch twenty two. But like, see, that's the problem with having sex nowadays. Mm, like a lot of people can just fake it. Like, yeah. well, not fake it, but like fake the word in. Mm, or yeah. it could be just that time of the month. Your hormones are wilding, and you think it's something. Hey, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Chucky said those like the let's say the same dance moves he uses with someone he's in love with. He can use those same exact exact. Yeah, dance once moves you know what with to someone do, someone he's not in love with. I know, yeah. I think that's so crazy. I would, yeah. like, see, see me, 
I withhold stuff from people who aren't. No, but yeah. see, the thing is, it's not even about withholding because sometimes your body tells that you like something. I think... S Go on. I think I think what the difference is, it's like you like you're mentally like okay, yeah, you could be physically involved, mm -hmm. but if you're mentally not there, mm. it's not gonna it's it's not it's, it's not gonna it's like not, bang yeah. like you And me? you can do that. That doesn't mean that like you that can just be with it can, it can be it happen in a lot of different mm -hmm. scenarios. Yeah. But if you're if you're if your mind and your body aren't in sync, then mm. it's just not a good time. Yeah. yeah, but then this is also why, like, certain people, like, start falling in love once sex gets involved. Right. Like, because there's some people that you're a bit too in sync with. Yeah. Mm. Like, it's, and this is why it's so important okay, you're careful with aspect, who you lay with. I kind of agree with you because sometimes, like, that, do you guys believe in sexual compatibility even though the person is not your... Yeah! Really? <laughs> yeah! Mm, no. Really? No point! <laughs> You know, yeah, we'll spend the block on this conversation another day. I Just do! Get the stories out. Ooh, please. Get the stories out. For flashbacks. I love to talk up. about it, I think, when, when we have Bro. guys in the pod. Yeah, we'll yeah let's bring that up, guys. Yeah, flashbacks are popping into my head. Oh, Let, let's go. Oh. Um, <laughs> right. So I have a couple Bro, of stories. Hilarious. No, girl, it got hot in here all of a sudden. Damn. <laughs> um, I got, I'm marrying my fiance just for the divorce. Fuck. <laughs> Am I wrong for sleeping with my late wife's sister? And then, you see Reese's face turn My pregnant wife's sister offered to sleep with me. That's it. I don't the know. First the, <laughs> the first and the second Am one. The first and second Am I wrong for sleeping with my late wife's sister? Yes. You don't want that one? No, you, yeah? you want that one? No, wait, no, 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 no. I want the first one. That was the f late wife's sister. The want, first one is not. I'm marrying my fiance divorce. just for the divorce. That's the one this I want. This is want. a short one. That's what okay. I want. Right. I'm 28, male. I found out two months ago my fiance, 31 female, cheated consistently with a friend of mine, and it's still happening. We were together for five years, but two years ago her father died. He was so wealthy, and his wealth was split between her and her sibling. Damn. Our wedding is in early July. Fool me once, you'll be the fool. I know I won't get 50%, but I'll do my best to get as much as I can. I'd be fairly happy with 20%. Using her wealth to buy assets as a married couple becomes marital wealth rather than prior to marital wealth. Everything is wrong. Do you know how way. calculated he is? That's some shit I do. As a man. Well, he's not wrong. He's not oh. wrong though. He's not wrong. I can't. He's I can't. been cheating on. He's he's actually been faithful. They've been together for five years. Yeah. She's been cheating with his close friends. Where's friend the as well. integrity? What integrity? Where's the integrity? Where's her integrity? Yeah, yeah she cheated. Leave her. But he's been there for five years. He deserves something. He, he cheated. No. He cheated. I'm from around the way. She cheated I'm with, with her friend. Yeah. <laughs> Like she cheated with his friend. She didn't even Shit. find someone far, 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 far away or try hide it. The friend. She cheated close to home. Let's talk about the friend. So he's, he's getting, getting nothing none. anyway. Yeah. Damn. Keep it moving. He's not getting anything. Anyways. Anyways. He's getting his not in. Because, yeah, there, he's, there, you know, <laughs> he's, he's getting that. But like the thing is, is like when, when you actually like mm. deep it, they've been together for so long. He's yeah. invested a lot of time. Like if roles were reversed, you would be saying she deserves this. She deserves mm. it. Yeah. I think it's- I wouldn't say that either. I would just be like, everyone should be- leaving. I'm here for his pettiness. Yeah, okay. be petty. But you know what marriage is? But marriage, they just treat marriage like it's a piece of pa paper. Well, well, she's getting into a marriage treating it like that as well. Yeah. Cause she's like, is she gonna she's stop the one that's the lying affair? and fooling. I wonder what he has that she's doing. I know. Why is she marrying him? He said something as well. Cause okay. he goes, he knows he won't get half, but he'd be happy with 20. Mm. So if she has 80%, it still means she's got a decent amount that she can live with. Mm. Yeah. At least he gets to walk away with something. Money will always heal your wounds. It will. It will. Not all wounds. Not all wounds. You know what? Can money I tell like, you what it is? Can I tell you what it is? Let's say for cheating wounds, I think money money can heal it. If I'm getting, if, I, if you're getting money from the people who have wronged you in this life, I still won't feel. Would you not be happy? I still won't. I don't know. Feel like, like I don't know if it, like, it's no, like, but it's, deep it's, it. It's like yeah, like but no, deep I get it, it. No, but like deep it. If if you know mm -hmm. that if this person hurts you and you're gonna make bank off of it, are you gonna be sad when they do it? I don't know where I am right now. I'm not in a good place to answer that question. 
<laughs> like I don't know if but you asked this question like, last week. Like maybe. if you knew that money came from like being hurt, you wouldn't be pissed about it. Yeah, I it, would have had to heal. Yeah, but it's it like, would heal me very quickly. I don't think it would heal me, but it would help. Yeah, like it, it would, 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 would help. heal me very quickly. Like it's like okay, I'm okay with never talking to if, you again. If you say so, cause just think about I'll it take now. It. All this there is forgiveness and your mm. your mental state of mind. Now, do you know how nice it would be if you got forgiveness, mental state of mind, and a few dollars? I yeah, it's like, do you know what? I get it. I'm not I'm not I'm not opposed to it. Mm-hmm. But oh, I think two it's wrongs don't make a right. Mm. And the comments, money that you're receiving is Yeah, but you're uh, the innocent party. You didn't do it money. wrong. Yeah, but you, it's not no, money authentic. But you, no, but what I'm saying is, but you didn't do the wrong in that case. Like, but you did you the did wrong, it. but you found out and you purposely orchestrated what, so you get money this person, it's money it's money from a sin yeah do you get me because you weren't from like you weren't acting place. pure and you have to like go with your you have to go about life but i think some people i can actually do that though they can go about life listen you know it depends if i found out the june and i'm getting my july mm. i'm saying nothing mm. but if you're telling me you're standing on this like, yeah this this mm-hmm. this was actually written this month and the wedding is supposed to be next month so can i come oh, let's it is look June to july can situation. i come to the wedding please look i'm not mad at him the, like i get why he's doing it like it's it's just it, it's really calculated it's so really calculated. calculated it's really calculated i just know some yeah. i do <laughs> Girls, you're crazy. <laughs> some i do you know i do everything with calculation in my head yeah mm. i just can I, you, can I tell you what yeah, everything else i'm partially okay with is the divorce part it's the part that marriage you're treating it like a flipping game like you get me yeah that's the only thing let's that's say a relationship like you know what i mean like it's like if, oh if, if i ask to my girlfriend i'll get all this money if we're gonna be honest no, it, on. it doesn't seem like he's that in love with her either because yeah. like if you you're really truly care. heartbroken you're not gonna be thinking about the money you'd be yeah. too busy crying but how much that, money like, is it but like that's, that's what, what he said he was like wealthy he said mm. wealthy this is crazy i don't know the father was mm. pretty wealthy mm. like if this was like a just jeff bezos thing <laughs> you get what i mean <laughs> <laughs> see how her mind changed oh say something maybe she cheated because she knows that he will not leave her because of how rich she is but she can just leave him but and you know, then still have all her money but people with that wet type of wealth they actually don't they, care but they have it in different ways mm. you get me so he might not even be entitled to that like i feel like because he's so calculated he's mm. gonna think he's done this and he's gonna end up even more broke no but do you see what he said right he was like he's gonna get property mm. because it's like okay he may not be able to physically leave with any money but the property that they invest in becomes theirs mm. his name would be on that paper as well but is it so or let's is it the family is it the family name? no but see it Prenup. literally says he says using her well to buy assets as a married couple mm. so he can literally be like babe i want us to start flipping property in airbnb's and beans and they go out and buy tons of airbnb's and beans. it's going to be her name and his name on it mm. so if they do get divorced his name is on it he's actually doing it well, who's smart paying for the houses her money yeah. it doesn't matter who but pays. who's maintaining it's like, their name it's but the names that are i'm on not it. gonna lie to you yeah if they're building a property yeah and then she finds us out and they, she leaves him she just st- has to stop maintaining the properties. That's not going to affect her wealth. Mm. You get me? And then it's going to affect the, his. No, but see, the thing is, right, but he can sell it then. They can both decide to sell it. If she has that much money, she might not care for maintaining it. If she was she smart, should she should be petty and say, I'm not selling it. Or prenup. And then it's just going to be there. You know if she says prenup, at the end of the day, you can live in it. <laughs> no, no, but the prenup is like mm. everything we have before the marriage mm. is separate. Mm. but during the marriage it's not i think there is a prenup there that's why he's saying they're going to buy property as a married couple Mm. because then the prenup don't count wow she knew what she was doing she already has this on lock Mm. i hope i want to know if he gets it i want to know i'm going to try to keep up with the story i'm going to keep up with the story i want to ask you guys i have another statement of the week um will women make it easy for men when they like them yeah we do Mm. Was that me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What was that, guys? Say it with your chest. I think that's that's a roundup. That's been that's been good today. You know, I'm, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy to leave you. Know, you know the statement: a finished woman. That's okay. what happens. Yeah, you're finished. not wrong. 
You know, Anyways, finish. round it up. What was Outro, <laughs> please. Thank you. What was so funny was that, and we'll really wrap it up because I don't really want to get into it. Too. We'll spend the block. We, we can't. Yeah, we'll spend the block. This episode. This has been long. But like my friend said, if um, she really likes you, your dick came can be good. Mm -mm. If she really likes you, she'll look past a lot of things. It's either you hit the cervix or not. Okay, Ooh. thank you. Um, guys, <laughs> please, thank you so much for watching. Um, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Ooh, guys, ooh. I think, by, let's check if we're at 800 subscribers, guys. Oh my God, oh my God, we're pushing it, though. We're, check, pushing it. we're pushing it, we're pushing it, we're pushing it. It'd be so sad if we're at 799 still. We still are. Okay, well, guys, we're trying to get, we're on the road to 1K. Please like, comment, share, subscribe if you enjoyed the conversation. If you laughed at least once, if you giggled at least once, please say you, I giggled a little bit. I Do it, funny. Kiki. I said, Kiki. Keep us in the comments. You know what I mean? And let us know your opinions on the yay or nays and the statements, guys. We really want to hear it. We might even start reading them out in the next pods. And yeah, I think that's everything. And tune in next week for your weekly subscription to Did the Gist. Bye.